Hello and welcome to another episode of Philosopher Stone. I'm the philosopher, and I'm stoned. So, about two years ago, this bloke by the username Count Dankula made a video on his YouTube channel that he figured no one's gonna see it, just my friends, and it, it was like about this dog, this little puppy that his girlfriend had, that she kept telling him that he was the sweetest little angel. So. As a prank, as a prank, mind you, he showed the dog Nazi marches on YouTube and taught him to do the Heil Hitler sign and taught him to get, trained him to get all excited when he would use key phrases like gas the Jews. At the end of the video, he clarified, by the way, I'm not a racist, I just wanted to piss off my girlfriend. And he was, he was, I, I don't know the full story. Basically, like, he's had to wait two years to finally have his hearing settled in a court. And the judge said that he was going to sentence him on the grounds that the video was grossly offensive. Britain... I find your stance on freedom of speech grossly offensive. And let me explain why. What Count Dankula did was a prank. It was a stupid prank. It was a hilarious prank. And if anything, the claim that it is grossly offensive due to it promoting like anti-Semitism or whatever, that's a fucking retarded claim because the video was not anti-Semitic, if anything, it was anti-Nazi. And who has a problem with being anti-Nazi other than actual Nazis, not the stupid fucking Antifa Nazis that everyone seems to think is okay with to punch? No, we're not... He basically did the same thing that PewDiePie did. It's just a prank. Get over it. But, uh... He has to wait till April, I believe it's 23rd, to hear his sentence. He might end up having to spend a year in jail. He might have to end up spending a year under house arrest with a fucking GPS tracker on him. And this has basically, like, ruined his fucking life. Like, he hasn't been able to apply for a job and fucking shit. And it's a complete miscarriage of justice with a ruling ending with something as subjective as grossly offensive, how long is it before we see people getting arrested for having their legs spread too far apart on a bus or insert other feminist slash MRA talking point here? Uh, basically, like, how, how long is it before you can be arrested for stupid shit like... What one person finds offensive isn't what another person necessarily finds offensive. And so to put this in a legal matter it is straight up bias. And it's, it's stupid. But um, that said, it, it's like, how far are we from thought policing? And this is the UK we're talking about. This is Britain. And fucking other countries look up to Britain. Because Britain is, it has nice people, it has intelligent people, and it has great rock and roll music, and it's got some of the best movies, it's got some of the best actors, uh, they have one of the best accents, I mean, it's called England because that's where English comes from, English is the most popular language on the planet. If you put a, a Japanese man, a German man, and a Swedish man all in a room, and they only spoke their native language, they would probably try to communicate with the other two in English before they would try to communicate with them in their respective languages. That's how the conversation would most likely start. Why? Because most countries have some knowledge of language either required or optionally chosen by many students in their curriculum. Fucking 
the, the, it's all over the place. You you could probably find an English speaker in every nation, I bet you. And so, like, England, fucking mass respect, dude. Mass fucking respect. But this is retarded. Like, how far are we from telling people that the shirt they're wearing is grossly offensive and he's wearing a fucking polo shirt that's white? How far are we from that? Like, uh, my point in bringing up that other countries look up to Britain is like, what other countries might follow suit after this sort of stupid mistake? Uh, And I'm only bringing this up so that people will like, outroar about this because our freedom of speech is being compromised man like that's one of the human rights dude like it's the first amendment in the united states constitution if you don't live in the united states you probably know this just from knowing about the united states to some degree Uh, and i'm sure your country has some sort of free speech law because of that And if your nation doesn't have some kind of free speech law, I feel sorry for you because you live in a fucking terrible place, dude. Like, everyone needs to be entitled to say what's on their mind. I think that even people that I disagree with should have the right to say what's on their mind. And it's stupid to try and take that away from them. Like, because silencing people is how you end conversations. And I feel like conversations worth having are conversations worth having, you know? If you seriously believe that what you say is the truth, then, like, you should have the right to defend that, and other people should have the right to offend that, like, and you should be allowed to offend their beliefs, and they should be allowed to defend their beliefs. And I'm not saying that to emphasize what the word offense means. I'm using that purely in the sense that it's offense and defense. But um, coincidentally, I realized that that was what was going on while I was making this. Um, What I mean is, like, you know, why, why should anyone have the right not to be offended? Like, Seriously, if you don't want to get offended, don't go outside for one, don't go on the internet for two, and don't watch TV for three, because you are prone to get offended if you're going to get offended at all, at any point, in any place, by anyone, because what one person finds offensive, another person might not. I don't find a whole lot of shit offensive. I've mentioned this on my YouTube channel. Like, go down to the comments. If you watched this far into the video and didn't get bored, go down to the comments and try to offend me. I will probably reply to all of them. Uh, I, I promise not to delete any of them. Go down to the comments and try to offend me with whatever cuss word you want, with whatever slur you want. You, you could call me anything you want. And I, I promise you, I'm not going to get offended. <laughs> and, and anyways, so, oh, and if you need some, like, help, I'm a bisexual furry who's Asian and white, so any of the racial slurs attached to those two races and anything pertaining to furries or gays, go ahead and just toss them in there uh, if, if you feel like. If you don't feel like being creative, there's some stew for you. Anyways, uh, where was I? Uh, like, uh, you should have the right to say whatever you want, I feel. And yeah, it may be hurtful to someone. Yeah, it may be wrong to someone, but if it's right to you, you should have the right to say it, and I feel like having that open conversation is how we evolve as humans, because, like, our main method of getting through to each other on a human-to-human basis is communication, and if you can't communicate, what do you have? We need to be able to communicate these good ideas and explain why we think they have merit and why we think that they don't have merit and whether or not something is right or wrong should be determined by the majority of the population and like that way the bad ideas will die out you know like have the open forum is fucking what I'm saying uh I'm also saying free the dankula and it's like baffling to me that 
people can't handle being offended. Like, you know, I made that video so long ago about growing a thicker skin. And if you guys haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. I don't know how to put the eye thing in the corner of the video um, to link to that. But maybe my editor does. I don't fucking know. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to say that, you know, there's no point in getting offended. But if you're offended, then that's okay. But don't fucking make something subjective the basis for sentencing a man who, in so many people's opinions, did nothing wrong. I'm the philosopher. I'm stoned. Take care.